Mr. Green, it's great to see you, as always. You have an amendment you've offered, and I would like to ask you to make your presentation on your amendment. Thank you, Madam Chair. And I would like to, if I may, thank the Chair of the full committee. In my uh, conversation with him with reference to this amendment, he enthusiastically encouraged me to present it, uh, notwithstanding germaneness and the rule that may eventually be uh, pro produced that will support um, or deny this amendment. I also would like to uh, mention that Mr. Hastings and I had a conversation, and with a great deal of alacrity, he encouraged me to bring my amendment forward as well. Uh, Madam Chair, if I may, Houston, Texas has been declared a disaster area. Actually, it's Harris County. Houston consumes most of Harris County. And it forces many things to happen, one of which is to cause me to be here today on a mission of mercy as I see it. This is not the first year that Houston has been declared a disaster area. This year we had what were called the tax day floods because they occurred on tax day, last day to file your taxes. Last year we had the Memorial Day flood. And in each circumstance, Houston was declared a disaster area. So I should thank Governor Abbott for requesting that Houston be declared a disaster area. I would like to thank the President for doing so. But I'd like to also mention that this is preventable to a great extent. We cannot eliminate all flooding, but we can mitigate a good deal of what's happening in Houston as evidenced by the fact that the Houston area already has projects that have been authorized to eliminate and mitigate a good deal of this flooding. Uh, these projects uh, are overdue in terms of getting them completed in the sense that if they were completed now or as quickly as possible, we wouldn't have a lot of the flooding that is taking place. Uh, this is not just about damage, damages uh, to property, but uh, I do want to mention that it has been estimated that the tax day flood will cost approximately $2 billion. It's been estimated that thousands of cars uh, have been damaged as a result of this flood. Uh, but these things are important, but there is something more important, and that's human life. Nine lives were lost in the tax day flood. Uh, we have in Houston what are called flash floods. They occur in a flash. And as a result, some people, even who are being prudent and judicious, find themselves in harm's way to the extent that they cannot extricate themselves. Very unfortunate circumstances. But some are preventable. This amendment emanates from uh, a bill, H.R. 5025. H.R. 5025 is the bill that we are pushing in Congress to try to get the $311 million needed to move forward with these projects that are already authorized. Eventually, the money will get to Houston, but it will probably get there if we continue with regular order in such a fashion that we will have spent billions more that we need not have spent uh, had we taken appropriate preventive action. So this gives us an opportunity to prevent some of the damages that are taking place and possibly save some lives in Houston, Texas. The bill itself is bipartisan. Uh, we have uh, a good many members from Texas who are on the bill in a bipartisan fashion, approximately 14. Uh, the amendment I ask that you please give consideration to for reasons that I have called to your attention and one additional reason. Uh, while the repair work, the construction work won't take place overnight, uh, we do have a mosquito problem in Houston, Texas as well. And uh, in the long run, I think it's going to be very beneficial for us to uh, take care of these flooding problems. Uh, for those who may not understand it, in Houston, when we say flooding, here's what happens. Uh, we have streets that become canals. Homes become reservoirs. You have to see it to understand the 
impact that it has on lives. And we have some people who are just getting back in their homes, and they have now been visited again with floods that are unusual. So I'm here with an appeal. I said it was a mission of mercy. And my hope is that we can find a way to, to help persons who continually suffer from these floods and also realize that it can have an impact on the propagation of mosquitoes and other harmful uh, uh, entities that may be visited upon people. With that, I would ask your, your permission to have our bill considered, well, our amendment considered, uh, notwithstanding what I've heard. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Green. It's obviously obvious that you care very much for your district and the people in your district. Um, I have no questions. I do understand there may be a problem with the germaneness of your uh, amendment, but um, I appreciate the fact that the chairman invited you to come and speak on it. Mr. Cole, do you have any questions? Again, I sympathize with my friend. Uh, his community has certainly gone through a great deal, and uh, we are very fortunate to have him as an advocate uh, on their behalf, but I have no particular questions about the amendment. But I appreciate the gentleman bringing it, putting it in front of us. Thank you. Thank you. Walter. Thank you. Any member on our side wish to ask? Okay. Thank you very much, Mr. Green. We appreciate your coming. May I and just say thank you, Madam Chair? Absolutely. I, I greatly appreciate it. And um, I assure you that uh, your kind words are heartfelt. Thank you. Well, we, uh, we all know you and respect you for who you are and, and uh, the work that you do here. Thank you very much. This uh, closes the hearing portion of H.R. 5243.